It was just last year, last cold December, of so many clubs we were a member. Particle societies like debate and prefect should have made us realize and reflect on how lucky we were to participate after school in activities and events, things that everyone called cool. And whoever organized these should gain their respect, but most of us took these clubs for granted and that I regret, but I'm still astounded at what happened next. Now there were over 100 councils within our school, and when someone decided on work to rule, hearts became bitter on that wintry night. In one split second, tensions rose and common sense took flight. Teachers union and government argued over regulations when everyone else wanted to avoid confrontation. But when Putting Students First Act became new legislation, after school activities turned from reality to hallucination. The teachers union decided to challenge this violation. But the situation just became increasingly dire, and with teachers on strike, parents rushed to find daycare for hire. Now I have to admit, I didn't know who to support. Was I to choose the union or the government? Until one day I noticed, both fell short because we couldn't make our case in court or play our sports. We were denied our retort as a last resort. As students, there's no doubt that we should formulate our own opinion. But wait, let's first identify the facts and come to a logical decision. Because to come to a decision, we need clear vision. We need to set the facts straight before we engage in yet another debate. The government is now passing this bill into law. Some argue it's the right move. Others believe it's flawed. Queen's Park wants to freeze wages, limit bargaining rights, and cut sick days. McGinty says, ratify the bill on December 31st without delay. Now they do have a point I'll admit. Ontario has one huge deficit. Cuts are needed and we have to bear in mind. But all I ask of you is to not be blind. These acts are touted to convince you and me. And with that, we're asked to believe that this act was supposed to extract sacrifices from the teachers without any impact. As we get back on our feet from a nasty financial fall, let's not take our eye off the ball. There has to be another way to save $2 billion without shortchanging tomorrow's scholars. So is the government really putting students first? Or is it just more worried that the debt balloon might burst? Are teachers using students as bargaining chips? What will it take for both sides to come to grips? Education is not just going to school. And learning is not just showing up for class. Getting along is the most important lesson. And we all need more than just to pass. Don't leave this strike as our lasting impression. Don't turn our learning experience into a depression. And wouldn't you assume if they wanted to put students first, that their priority would be to quench our knowledge thirst. We can deal with the frustration, it's not the worst. But we all want a holistic education, don't let it be cursed. For it is time that the student voice is heard by both the teachers and the government, and for them to concur that they must do what's best for the leaders of tomorrow, not just the ones of today. And without delay, before New Year's Day.